What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Mr. Ranamir, welcome back to the channel. Okay, so, no idea why I had that piece of shit on my screen, but uh, it just happened to be there, never mind. Today's video is going to be covering how to fortify your dragon skills and how to gain the skills for your dragons. It's been a long-awaited video, a lot of people have asked me about it, and... Uh, Truth be told, I'm, I'm just fucking lazy. I don't have an excuse. A lot of you may already know how to do this. So, again, this video may be totally irrelevant for you. But a few people have asked me in the comment section. And, uh, you know, it, it was a, a part of a discussion in Discord once or twice. So I thought, well, fuck it. Just make the video and, uh, you know, get it sorted. So, on your dragons over here. There are certain skills that you can attach to the dragons that will benefit you in battle, whether that be defending, attacking, <clears throat> etc. And obviously, by having the certain dragon selected, um, you know, or in the wall or in the march, you will obviously, you know, gain those attributes. Now, I may, this may seem a very basic version of the video and trying to like teach people that you know don't have a lot of um, game sense. I said game sense. That's really bad. Uh, and not a lot of knowledge regarding this. So if this seems very simple, I do apologize, but I'm trying to keep it as basic as possible um, so you guys can just basically understand. Now, again, from a, no, a non-spender, we're going to call ourselves a slash low spender now because we've got a couple of people out there questioning it. But, you know, so I spend like a couple of quid a month, if that. But I mean, none of it's really my money anyway. So, uh, right, anyway, so the dragons that I sort of use and... Uh, a lot of people, I used to use Scartha, um, and I'll show you the skills I have on there, um, for defending, and I mean, they're not great, but there are certain ones that I picked up um, from the Dragon Cave, and I will show you exactly how to do, get that, but truth be told, nowadays, I'm either running the Red Dragon, um, or I'll be running the Eagle Dragon, just due to the fact of the defensive damage and defensive damage reduction, it's just so much more beneficial um, when it comes to um, rallies, etc., and defending your castle. Um, and obviously, the Eagle Dragon I have here. <clears throat> now, there are skills on these dragons, like I mentioned, and what this video is basically all about, that you can fortify to basically improve the skill. Uh, as you can see, I've got two, <clears throat> two examples in front of me that I'm going to be using for the video. Now, these two skills were picked up for free, and I will show you exactly how to get these skills. Not great ones, but, you know... Better than a kick in the fucking teeth. Anyway, so the first one on the list, which actually I think is is quite, you know, decent for what it is. And you can actually pick up quite a few of these, you know, duplicate of these skills. So you can fortify it and increase the stats on the skill. So Dragon Flame Breath. It is basically all soldier units attack 11.22%. It's okay. It, you know, basically does the job. Now, by enhancing that skill, like so... Fuck, I don't have any. It's on the blue dragon. My bad. You can actually... Uh, good one. You can actually increase the stat of the... Um, fuck. Switching dragons. Pretend we weren't looking at that one. Okay. It's this one here. I got confused. There's another version of it, which is all soldier unit defense. I I got confused. So anyway, really plan this video. Um, okay. So, as I was saying, by enhancing the skill, like so... As you can see here down the bottom, Dragon Ordeal, all, I have two of these, and I only need one, and then a shit ton of Dragon Flames to upgrade it. I uh, currently have uh, 1,458, not too bad, but let's just check, look at the stats before we go ahead and do that. Okay, so, this particular skill gives me 16.83% all soldier unit defense. Now, by enhancing it, I can press here, quick select, which will put 976 Dragon Flame Tombs in, plus the duplicate copy of the Dragon Ordeal, and that'll actually enhance or fortify the skill up to the next stage, which is now 19.89. Maximum you can get is 22.96. I don't know if I've got enough Dragon Flames to complete the job, but we're about to find out. But as you can see, it was very, very simple to fortify that skill. It's four stars now, last star, and I'll gain 22% all soldier unit defense. So that's not bad, considering there's four types of troop, if you're not in you know, a specific infantry castle, for example. That's like 88% percent 
worth of stats, you know, as an overall, if you want to look at it like that. Okay, so again, let's make this five star. And I don't know, actually, if we've got enough. Oh, no, no, okay, let's find out. So if we press quick select, it's not working, which basically tells me that I don't have enough. Fuck it. Um, we can find, oh, wait a minute. Oh, no, it's working. It was just really slow. Okay, let's go back. Quick select. Okay, it just wasn't working. Good old Crash of Kings. Okay, so moving forward. As you can see now, what we're going to do is fortify the last stage of this skill by completing all the tick boxes, i.e. enough Dragon Flames or Dragon Flame Arcane Tombs. You see these books, and I will show you how to gain these books. Um, you know, this orange book, for example, is 20,000 skill EXP, and these can be synthesized or, you know, forged into your skill to increase the EXP, etc. Um, it's pretty much going to use everything that I have by the looks of it, which is going to be quite interesting. But at the end of the day, this is the right, this is the reason why I've accumulated these skills, so it can basically just be forged into another one to increase, you know, the stat of the skill. So by the looks of it, it's actually going to take pretty much everything that I've got. <laughs> um, I'm actually, I don't know, I don't want it to take any, oh no, 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 wait, it's only, okay. So by doing actually quick select, it, it obviously starts off with all the shit ones and then, you know, leaves all your better ones. So I would say before pressing quick select, just double check what you're actually consuming um and making sure that you know you can lock skills if you weren't aware like so if you press it fuck maybe it's not in this menu but you see there's a padlock on it if you go back and go look into the the skills separately you can actually lock them so when you do press quick select it doesn't consume um but as you can see it's not touching my purple ones anyway so what was the uh 19 i don't even know why i need to look because it tells me what max is 22 so we're going to go ahead and fortify this particular skill to the last stage, like so. Now it's five star, it is maxed out, and it gives me 22.96%. Um, you know, that's like, like again, I said over 88% worth of stats, you know, almost 90%. So that's pretty good just for one skill, um, you know. And again, for um, above me, I have Energized Raw level five. Now, unfortunately, I don't have another one to you know, enhance the skill on this. So that's not going to be possible. But if I have a look across back to my Fire Eagle Dragon, I do have one for my cavalry. Now, truth be told, after using that many arcane tombs, it will probably now try to consume the purple ones, which I don't want it to do because there's a couple on there that I need. So I probably won't go ahead and do that. But I hope that guy I hope that gives you basically, you know, a very basic guide about how to fortify your dragon skills. Um, there are certain skills that are only attached to certain dragons. It's a case of you guys going out there and testing it and finding it out for yourself. You know, I cannot sit here and tell you exactly which skills go for which dragon because basically there's so many fucking skills. It's unreal. Um, okay, moving swiftly on. How to gain these skills for your dragon without having to spend a fucking penny in the game. Your first point of really is over here, I would have said, in the dragon soul treasure. Now, to gain dragon souls to use in the dragon soul treasure, you must be, which I don't really do a lot of, to be honest, but over here, bottom right hand corner, when the game catches up with me. Fucking hell, man. Jeez, I didn't even press that. <clears throat> I think I have to zoom in to get a better fucking... Yeah, okay. Okay, over here in the arena place um, by uh, basically... Um, where was it again? Fucking season reward. At the end of every season, you know, the more people you attack, the more you, you're active in this particular part of the, you know, in the, in the Royal Arena and the more... Battles you win, you will gain a higher rank. It's basically the same in, any, in in every game, you know. So the higher you rank, at the end of the season, the better of the rewards you get. And this is just one free way of basically getting, you know, uh, the souls to use up in the uh, cave. Um, at the end of every season, you get, um, you know, a select amount of souls. 
And then what you can do is go up here like so. Now, this is the way that I do this. And again, it's totally up to you if you choose to do it like this. So every day you will gain one free chance to basically open one of these uh, Dragon Soul treasures. Now, the, ch the chance really of you getting lucky and hitting like, for example, we've got here all, dra all soldier units defense. Uh, pretty, pretty like one in, in however many it's going to be on here. But the the thing is behind this, it's never really going to give you the gold ones. Um, it's all about, you know, looking at maybe what the purple ones and stuff that it may give you or just get enough to use to upgrade other skills. Um, because at the end of the day, I've watched a few videos on this and spoke to a lot of people regarding this particular thing. And you, you pretty much have to open every single one. And then the last one that you open is the gold skill so the game is going to stitch you one way or another uh i think it costs about 30 is it thirty thousand dragon souls something like that twenty eight thousand to open all of these um which i believe you can buy if you really want to go and do that but it's not the idea behind this video okay so every day you get a free chance to open i don't share i don't have any i've already used it someone's already done my castle this morning um and then what you do is you open it like this person's done in front of me already my uh my friend and then i what i normally do is spend a little bit of gold to refresh it like so so then it will give me a free chance so i get a free shot uh, what's that two thousand experience better than a kick in the teeth and then i'll spend 500 gold and then i'll just pick another random one like so uh purple it, you know useless i wouldn't probably use it on anything but at the end of the day it's pick the more i pick up the more I can then put back into my other skills to make them stronger. Does that make sense? Yes, I know I'm spending 600 gold every day, but truth be told, you know, I don't buy gold. So you see, I've got 170,000 gold, but that's earning it from events, from KVK, etc., completing events. Uh, you know, I just accumulate the gold and then invest the gold back into the castle, you know, at certain points so I can gain. You know, basically, from it. it's just like a, just a big circle, really. <laughs> Whatever you get, you put back in. That's the way that I look at it. So, yes, so that's one way of basically gaining skills. The chance of you getting lucky over there is, uh, yeah, good luck with that one anyway. Okay, second option. I say option. You should be doing this at the same time. Is over here in your daily rewards. Now, I don't know if I've opened mine yet, but um, we're going to have a look see if I've got any. Up here, you should be doing your daily tasks in your castle every single day no matter what it is and complete and open the three boxes obviously it's the start of the week by the way hence the reason why you know it's just refreshed um not only does it give you the boxes but it also give you components to make medium hole saws and stuff like that so you, you should be doing this really um if you work it out right at the end of every week you should actually manage to build yourself a medium hole saw at the end of every month. But that's a different video that I will make for you guys regarding hole saws, etc. We're all about the purple orange dragon skill random chest you can see there. So at the end of every week, you will gain a purple box, a blue dragon skill random chest, and a blue one, which is pretty fucking useless anyway. And then what you will find is... Um, unless they've already been opened in my castle, somewhere down the bottom. Shit, I've already opened them. Fuck a doodle. But anyway, in those chests, you will open them, and it is possible to gain all sorts. Oh, the the initial skill that I started to upgrade at the start of the video, or fortify at the start of the video, I actually gained this and the five that I need to get it from just completing those boxes, et cetera, et cetera. Unfortunately, I don't have an example of the box to show you. Um, I may screenshot it on uh, another castle. If I've got it in my mate's castle, I'll have to go and check. Um, actually, I might go and do that now quickly. Hold on two seconds. Okay, right. So apologies about that. Um, what I've actually done is switch across to my mate's castle very quickly because she may have... They look, they look like these. They look exactly like those. But they don't have castle skins in them. I believe she may, she may have one. Ah, okay. Oh, shit, it's only blue. Okay, right. So, as I was telling you, obviously, what you should be looking for in your inventory after completing the day, you know, the 
daily or weekly uh, task is a box that looks very similar to this. It'll be blue, purple, or bronze, you know, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and then as you can see, green, blue, I mean, like, Truth be told, some of the skills in there are bollocks, but like, you know, you, you, you want to be more looking at the gold boxes. So obviously this blue one is not a great example, but it's just a basic example. And then within these boxes, you will gain all types of skills. As you can see at the top, the blue version of what I basically fortified at the beginning of the video, um, in the gold box, there is the purple version of that. Again, you have a chance to get it. You can't select so it's random. So what we do for the sake of the video, uh, fucking resource. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, like, again, like I say throughout the video, it's all based on random or luck or whatever you want to fucking call it. But, um, you know, the more you do it, the more you increase your luck, the more chance you have of basically getting those particular skills. But also, you know, that particular landfill skill or, you know, you know, re uh, fucking farming skill. Fuck me, I couldn't even think of what it was called then. Can, again, be you know, forged or synthesized into another skill like I was doing to make it stronger. So it's not an all, you know, it's not always a waste. It will go to some use um, within the castle. So, yeah, I mean, other than that, sort of, um, if there are any other ways that I've missed out, please, of gaining the dragon souls, etc., please put it in the comment section so other people can basically learn from the video and learn how to um, fortify um, their dragon skills. Um, I'm just basically looking at some of the stuff that she's got in here. See, you, you like this one here is some, like the Wings of Steel, level five, right? Now, defensive damage three point five seven percent. That's not a bad, no, you know, it's not a bad little added touch, you know. And these the ones here, actually, I have thought of another one. I'll add to the video. Um, all these you see in front of her, all different skills I've added onto hers. I don't know why that one's on there, um, but these have all been picked up for free. So let's take this one, for example. Can we even upgrade this for her? Um, yeah, we can. So this one here, she's got all soldier units attack, 10%. What we're going to do is we're going to fortify it up very quickly, like so. Enhance it. Yes, thank you very much. Now it's 12.85%. You see what I'm saying? So just by doing that, I've increased all of her attacking stats by 2.85%. Was it 2.9%? 10% wasn't it? Something like that. You see, but that's how simple it is. And that is how, you know, every little stat counts when it comes to Clash of Kings. It's all about the grind, unfortunately, you know. And as long as you sort of, uh, you know, are following the right sort of direction and just improving your stats on a daily basis. I will be making a video about that. You should be increasing your stats minimum regardless of what stat it is, by at least 1% or 2% every day. It is possible in your castle to make a progress like that. I know it doesn't seem a lot, but you should be making progress on your stats every day in your castle. Whether it's 0.5%, 1%, 2%, you should be achieving it. And that is basically, you know, what I follow personally. Um, the other way of gaining, it's actually, a, unfortunately, it's a spending way. So I wouldn't really, I'm sort of better off leaving it to the end of the video. Um, again, totally up to you. I don't advise in spending in this game, but, um, okay. As you can see down here, it's actually, oh, it's got a different one. The Lord Trial, right? Middle box and line costs $4.99. Right hand side costs $9.99 to unlock. The free version on the left just gives you free shit. You don't get any skills. But if you wanted to invest some money, and it's not a lot, $4.99, do it on Amazon, it's even cheaper. Um, this is a way that you can gain them skills. And these are guaranteed to be here pretty much every time. You get a version of the All Soldier Unit Defense, and there is a version of the All Soldier Units Attack Bronze, which comes around. And this Lord Trial is always fucking here. Um, if you wanted to purchase it, you just basically do it like that. You see, $4.99, $9.99. Obviously, by purchasing the $9.99, you don't get the middle one. So don't think you get both for $9.99. It's uh, separately, unfortunately. But... Again, you can obviously add that, fortify the skills up, duplicate it, etc. But that is not a free way to um, gain skills in your castle. So yeah, other than that, I'm Mr. Random. I hope this video helped. Um, you know, any questions, feel free to fire them off down below. It's been a long-awaited video. Again, a lot of you may already know this, so, you know, thumbs up. But for those of you out there who didn't, I hope this helped. I'm Mr. Random. 
Hope you guys are staying safe. It's quarantine still over here in Britain. Great fun. And uh, I will catch you peeps later.